Good morning, Boker Tove. How are you? It's Tuesday. That means it must be Torah Tuesday. Yay. Cool. I'll tell you another story today. We're in the Parsha uh, Karach, and I think this story will will describe the Parsha the best. Karach was a very successful man. He went to all the parties, knew the right people, and was educated at the best university. He was a man of respect amongst his peers and was on many board of directors, including the Levy Board. The stockholder meeting was taking place this very day, and Kara and the other board members all filed into the hall for the meeting. As the leader of the company got up to give his address, Kara raised his hand and asked to be heard. Surprised, but always the gentleman, the leader told Kara to make his presentation. Kara got up and spoke directly to the members of the audience. He loudly denounced the leader's abilities to lead and even went as far as to question his moral authority. All that was heard throughout the hall was a loud gasp from the audience. The leader just looked at Kara with hurt in his eyes. All he could summon to say was, Why are you doing this? Kara glared at the ladder. Kara glared at the leader and he announced that we feel that you don't deserve your leadership position and we don't recognize your right to lead. We, the leader gasped. With that, 250 stockholders also stood up and stood with Kara. In unison, they all said, yes, we agree. This was a total shock to the assembly and especially to the leader who had spent many hours with Kara working, studying, and playing. Finally, the leader found the strength to say, when did you all make this decision? It's been brewing for a while, said Kara. Nobody said anything. Kara and the leader just stood there staring at each other. Finally, the leader issued a challenge. Les asked the company founder, her opinion on this. If she's agreed with you, I leave. If she agrees with me, you're all gone. Kara and his backer smiled and said, bring it on. The company founder was sitting in her seat listening to the entire exchange, absolutely horrified by what she was hearing. She wanted to purge them all from her sight. She stood up and looked at Kara and his followers and just pointed towards the door. She was so angry that she couldn't speak. All she could muster was pointing. Kara started to speak and she just held up her hand and pointed towards the door. All the audience heard was a swoosh and all 251 of them were gone as if they were never there. The founder turned to his audience and glared over the room. The leader ran to her side and asked what she was about to do. She wanted to get rid of all these fools. All the thousands assembled could go as far as she was concerned. How could 250 gossip and plan such a result, such a revolt without the rest of the audience not knowing. The leader begged her to reconsider her position. Don't blame everyone for their actions, he begged. Still furious, she gave in to the leader's request, but warned everyone in the attendance that her patience was sorely being tested. The leader took back control of the meeting, no one wanted to speak about or acknowledge what had just happened, and no one wanted to challenge the leader anymore. So, so, what just happened? In modern terms, we call it a hostile takeover, a revolt, a challenge to the leadership. 
How could Kara gather his supporters without anybody knowing? How could such a well-planned revolt happen without Moses knowing something was afoot? This could be the most puzzling issue with Parsha Karach. Karach. Karach is a Levi, just like Moses. He is in Moses' inner circle and very well connected and respected. Was Moses being blind or was the conspiracy that well conceived? How could Karach be so sneaky and underhanded? Does this ring true to today's world? Think about it. Well, thank you all for watching. Wow, look at all the people watching. Thank you. Dave, Edgar, hey man, thanks guys. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you learned something. Comment, carrier pigeon, like, whatever. But until next Tuesday, next Torah Tuesday, I'll see you then. Have a good week. Everybody be good.